Hello my friends, it's a nice evening of the 4th of August 2012 and I've just planted some of the lovely wheatgrass berries for sprouting so I'll just show you a few tips uh, as there are many videos online but maybe I can show you what I've d I'm doing uh, so you can see nice five trays I just brought up on the roof of the house to put in a garden roof shed where it's dark to keep them for three days to germinate and then I'll show you what's happening next because I've got all the trays which are already growing on the other side of the roof so these are the wheat grass berries which have been soaked for 12-14 hours in water and then sprouted for maybe another 20-24 hours and they have little shoots coming actually these are a little bit too long already but I was busy this morning and had to rush off somewhere so I couldn't plant them this morning so anyway I did it now this evening and so I'll put them in the shed in the dark I'll put tray the empty trays on top so that they keep moist and nice and start growing and so then in three days then I'll put them out on the other side to grow and now we can see different stages of the wheat grass how it's growing so these yellowish ones are the ones which I put out this morning from the shed which have been growing like those small ones you saw just before which uh, I put three days ago and they were in the dark starting to sprout and germinate so now you can see they're nicely coming up uh, they will become green as these ones so these ones have been a couple of days out and so they're growing nicely lovely the fresh living grass the wheat grass which can give you life if you are dying or you want to live forever or you want to live 150 years long and then you can see this one is ready to be harvested and juiced which I did one tray already this morning and had this atomic power bomb of the green energy you know erupting the whole body with this live living energy and so although they say that you shouldn't grow the second time I still cut and cut down and we'll see if it grows back so this tray is uh, I cut it I think two days ago and now it's growing back the second time so I'll be using the wheat grass for the second time when it grows back and then probably I won't grow it for the third time so it's so lovely to have this beautiful green grass which gives the life living energy to our depleted bodies of this iron aged world because the world is so depleted of all the nutrients and energy that we need to boost our immune system with this beautiful living grass which Anne Wigmore discovered quite a while ago when she was sick with cancer arthritis and different other uh, sicknesses and she healed herself with a lawn grass and then she discovered that this wheat grass could be used for healing all kinds of sicknesses and ailments so anyway I'll show you tomorrow morning how we juice this living grass with a beautiful Hippocrates green power juicer alright take care bye